In this week's episode, I attempt to pack a year's worth of clothes into a laughably small container. I masquerade as a minimalist. I ask a robot for help. And I become the next big fashion influencer and style icon. Could you fit all of your clothes for an entire year into this container? <laughs> Could you create a capsule wardrobe that contains the right pieces and enough pieces that fits in here <laughs> that covers all of your bases, everything that you're going to do for a year? So for me, running a business, hiking, adventuring, swimming, sightseeing, being cozy in the evenings, and which covers you for all of the weathers that you might encounter during the course of a year and in multiple countries around Europe. This is the mission I'm on today as we prepare for a year traveling around Europe, living out of a van. Let's see if I can do it. Hello my love, in just a few short weeks we are going to be heading off on a full year of travel as a family, living out of our converted camper van, converted camper van, van that we've converted into a camper van, and although it's a pretty big van, we've had to make some compromises, right? So we've prioritised certain things that we think are really going to add to our comfort. For example, my husband and I have a super king bed in there, we've got a full shower and toilet obviously, and we've got a pretty decently equipped kitchen but that comes at a cost, something's got to give, and it means that we don't have an abundance of storage space. So this <laughs> container, can you get it in shot, is where I'll be keeping my clothes for the entire year. That's right, this is all the space I have. This is my wardrobe for the year. This one plastic simple container is it. It's got to contain my clothes for the entire year. And Although I think this is going to be tricky, I'm kind of up for the challenge, if I'm honest. In fact, one of the things that most appealed to me when we discovered this whole kind of subculture of van life and we looked at each other and we were like, oh, maybe we could do this. Yes, waking up each morning, throwing open the doors of the van and having a cup of tea, looking out at some stunning view and being in a different place as often as we want to. That's super appealing, but also for me, something that appealed in this whole van life concept is this idea of enforced minimalism. I love the idea of having less things to manage, look after, store, tidy, clean, think about <laughs> for an entire year, and I'm quite looking forward to it. They say what you own owns you, right? <laughs> and I really feel that sometimes, especially because I live with a couple of hoarders. Mm -hmm. My husband and my daughter, they love their things, they love their stuff, and they don't like to be parted from it. So I'm a little bit tickled, <laughs> if I'm honest, at the idea of us having to minimize down our possessions, having to embrace minimalism, having it enforced upon us, and seeing where that takes us for the year, seeing what things do we leave behind or get rid of that we end up missing? What things do we take with us that we end up not using and not needing? And without so much stuff weighing us down, what do we find out about ourselves and each other? Do we do more things? Do we have more time? Certainly a lot of my time as a mum and also homemaker, I'm also a business owner, but I just mean in, within one of those roles is looking after all of the stuff, <laughs> you know? And so when we strip that away and we have so many fewer things for the year, I think it's gonna be so interesting to see what that does for us and to us. So back to the mission. Today's mission is to see if I can create a capsule wardrobe that will fit in this box that's just out of sight here. So first of all, what is and what is not going into the box? Shoes are not going in the box, fear not. Coats are not going in the box. All my days, I think if I put shoes and coats in there, First of all, it'll be full immediately, and second of all, they won't have nothing else to wear. So it is just pure clothes, but it will have to 
contain day wear but also any kind of lounge wear, any kind of pyjamas, knickers, bras, underwear, all of that kind of thing. Sports wear, everything has to get in the box. So uh, let me let you in on my strategy so far. I have been giving this some thought because when you are trying to contain your possessions, <laughs> all of your clothes, in just this small box, I don't know, it's not very big, it's about 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Don't ask me what that is in inches. Uh, and I don't know what cubic meterage that would be. I don't know if any of us care. When you are thinking about getting everything into a box like this, you have to be really, really intentional. Now, one of the facets of my dream life is more intentionality, so yay, it gets to begin now. So this is the kind of preparation for a year of travel that I find really cool and fun. I don't like all of the admin, things like sorting out insurance, blah, so boring. But things like this really light me up. So here's what I've done so far. I, I actually started this exercise with my daughter. We got the whiteboard out, love a whiteboard, and we literally drew out all of the different sort of categories of clothing, and then we shopped her wardrobe. So we went through what does she already have? We itemized out what we thought she would need. So we're working on the premise of a two week wardrobe. So we want enough clothes that we could just about stretch and make them work for two weeks without finding laundry facilities. So our plan for the gap year is to spend approximately one week out of every month in an Airbnb. And we will prioritize booking one with laundry facilities, which means that if we have that once a month and we get another at least one day of laundry in part way, that means every two weeks we should be able to wash everything that we own. So we want to try to pack as best we can to cover two weeks. Now this is going to mean an abundance of shameless outfit repeating. I am already a shameless outfit repeater. I don't like having tons of clothes anyway, and I don't really buy into this idea of having to wear something different every single day. So, um, but I think we're gonna have to stretch our limits of comfort a little bit more there, and maybe sometimes be wearing things that are of questionable cleanliness. <laughs> We're working on a two week basis. So back to the whiteboard and my daughter, we drew out all of the categories of clothing. We thought to ourselves, okay, what would that actually look like? So how many t-shirts would you need for two weeks? We itemized that out and then we shopped her wardrobe. So we went through everything that she currently owns, tried it on for fit, because this is gonna be an additional challenge with planning her wardrobe, is she's gonna grow during that year. So we are fully expecting to have to buy and replace certain items as we travel for her, but for myself and for my husband, that's really not the plan. We want to have our clothes largely just done, locked in, and not need to make any updates or switch anything out unless, like, you know, something gets a hole in it or gets really gross or whatever, then fine. Um, or if I just see something really cute along the way, but it's gonna have to be a one in, one out situation because of the box. So back to the process with my daughter, we created a list of what are the gaps. And so that gave us our shopping list of things that we needed to buy for the year. I was gonna do the same thing for myself, but obviously her and I have different styles, different ways that we wear things. And I also have um, a different requirement in that I will also be on Zoom calls and also creating content. Now I tend to wear my just normal everyday clothes for that but I might want to have a few extra pieces to feel like I look a little bit nicer and put together rather than just slumming it in these questionably clean <laughs> van life clothes all the time when I'm doing sort of business-based activities. So I actually planned my clothes slightly differently. I took it to ChatGPT. I don't know if you know ChatGPT. I don't know if you've used AI. I'm fairly new to using this particular tool, um, but it's kind of rocking my world as a mum life hack. So I actually had a chat with this AI in ChatGPT and said, we're going traveling for this many months. We're starting here and we're ending there. Here's the activities I'm going to be doing. Here's the size of box that I'm taking with me and what would you recommend I pack? And it said, well, here's a list. And then it said, although you might want to change it according to the weather in your destination. And I said, well, create me a timeline based on what I've already told you about when we're leaving and the countries we're going to, and then tell me the average temperature and average rainfall for each of them. And so it did that. And I said, now adjust that first list of clothes based on what we know about the weather and the places that we're going. And it did. And I said, now make it into a checklist for me so I can take it shopping. Yay, <laughs> so good. So my daughter and I, it took us quite a long time to do this whole whiteboard exercise together. Whereas with AI, it took me like 
five, ten minutes maximum. Not an ad, just a fan. Anyway, so that's been my process in terms of figuring out a comprehensive list of what I think I will, I will need, but also a minimized list so that there's not lots of duplicates in there, lots of things that I'm not going to actually strictly need. What I did next was I shopped my wardrobe, kind of in my head though. I didn't do the best job of that, so I'm gonna kind of do this a little bit as well as we go through this together. But I knew the gaps that I had. I knew that there's been quite a few clothes that I've been putting off buying because I wanted to replace certain key pieces with this gap year of travel in mind and kind of like nearer to the time. So I just did one big online spree to fill in some of the gaps. Bought a load of stuff. I haven't tried any of it on yet. I've opened one of the parcels but just kind of peeked inside, felt overwhelmed, couldn't be bothered to try anything on. Does anyone else do that? And so today we're gonna try everything on, gonna finish shopping my wardrobe and then if my compression packing cubes arrive, which by the way, is my other strategy in terms of fitting as many things as possible into this box, um, then I'm also gonna attempt to pack and see if it all fits. Ooh. Okay, let's just address the elephant or rather stack of parcels in the room. <laughs> I am very aware that it is a little bit weird to be investigating and embracing minimalism and yet starting with a very large pile of parcels of things I've just bought. It seems like consumerism and minimalism have collided here in this video, but it is what it is. I needed some key pieces. I've also done my best with these to buy from companies that have values that align with mine, so organic where possible, natural materials where possible, um, sustainably, ethically sourced where possible, but not always possible because I really need some jeans and I have not had any joy sourcing from companies like that and they've got to fit, you've got to feel comfortable in them and you've got to like them. Can someone please create a company that makes really really excellent, really well made jeans. That is like a B Corp or something that I like. Thanks very much. Okay, let's rip into these. These might be a winner actually. This is the fourth pair that I've tried on. And they're good. I wanted some mum jeans that are still with a bit of stretch to them. Winner. No, 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 yes. Bit too big, I reckon. Everything's so big at this brand. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> Not the most flattering. Oh, the hoodie might be more promising. It doesn't look so weirdly big. It's a nice color as well. Oh, it's soft inside. Oh, yes. What do we think? Oh, this actually is a decent size. Oh, this is nice. Oh yeah, let's see. Well, the sleeves are more reasonable. It's quite bulky. It means it kind of creates quite a lot of bulk around here. So I'm not sure. Hmm. This is a maybe. And this wasn't hugely successful. I had high hopes for this brand. Alas, their sizing is weird. Um, so this was a three pack of t-shirts, all just too big, too boxy. I really like it. I like the color. I think it's a good color on me. It's so soft and cozy. The only thing is I'm worried that it's really quite thick. This one, I loved the color, but it's very disappointing. Why is it so huge? I'm kind of unsure about that. Hmm. Mm, why is everything so long? Is it just me? Or do you want a t-shirt that doesn't like come down so far? It's not supposed to be worn with leggings. <laughs> it's just a t-shirt. Like here, yes, down here. Not really the vibe, is it? Mm. Not doing anything for me. Now those are okay. I'm not going to win any awards for style, but they are comfortable. But they're kind of cute. I just needed something comfy for round the van. I quite like the sage green. I think we'll keep these. So apparently H&M is where I go to buy green things. <laughs> Starting to get really hot. 
<laughs> also feeling ever so slightly hangry so I might take a break and come back okay I'm back I had a break I had some lunch I'm just finishing my flapjack hmm good okay last package let's do it okay well these should fit because I have these already in two other colors they're my absolute favorite yoga pants legging things from bam they're made of bamboo they're so comfy they're nice and quite thick so they hold you in yes keeping these well i'd say that was pretty unsuccessful <laughs> we've got this pile of nose which means that this pile represents one of the things i hate least in life and that is life admin all these returns <laughs> and we've got this meagre pile of yeses. We've got a pair of jeans, a pair of yoga pants, a comfy pair of shorts, three bralettes, and a swimming costume. <laughs> That's not filling in a huge amount of gaps on the list. Let's check out the list and see how we are getting on. Actually, it seemed like that was pretty unsuccessful given the mountain of things I have to return, but I'm actually not doing too bad on the list. I'm gonna finish shopping my wardrobe, put the clothes all out on my bed, and then other than a couple of things, I think we're actually getting there. And then I'm hoping these packing cubes arrive and I really wanna have a go at them and see what kind of a difference they make to how much I can actually pack in the container. Okay, let's see what I've got in here that I can take with me. Yay, this is good news. Look what just arrived. Compression packing cubes. Okay, I'm back from the school run. I've changed. I'm actually wearing the jeans that I tried on this morning. So now I'm going to see what's in my drawers. This is how I'm doing so far. I have some piles of things. <laughs> Not fully finished piles because some things are in the laundry um, and I still need to buy a couple of things but I'm starting to get a decent idea of some of the main pieces um, still hard to make some decisions though okay so here's where we're at I've got five pairs of shorts these are supposed to be able to just sling them on and I'm not a fan of really wrinkly shorts so they might have to actually be culled out of the, the pile here so four pairs of shorts I don't think I'm gonna buy any more there on the kind of trouser front so I've got these new jeans that I bought which I'm actually already wearing because they're so comfy and I really like them um, so I'm gonna take just the one pair of regular denim jeans one pair of black jeans because they're really useful they just go with anything and then I'm just taking yoga pants type of thing so I've got the black band ones that I tried on earlier I've got the same ones in this really nice purple marl kind of look and um, I also have some really thin super soft leggings from BAM as well so they're also bamboo seems like a lot to bring two that aren't that dissimilar so those those are really useful because obviously I can do yoga in them I can sit around in them comfortably but also I can and go hiking in them that kind of thing it's really difficult because even though I have had a look at the average temperatures and rainfalls you just don't really know what you're going to be encountering in terms of weather and I don't want to be really short in one area and have too many things in another area oh it's difficult to decide I'm gonna kind of like mull that over but so far that's my stack of trousers plus these jeans I also need to pack workout tops I've only got one so far here then I'm bringing two proper like what I would call jumpers so this one is the softest I think it's like merino wool and maybe alpaca mix or something like that and then again I'm in two minds I might just bring that one because I have this new hoodie which I have decided is coming with me it's super soft super cozy so that's quite thick quite warm I do have this merino wool base layer so I can layer that up I've got the white sweatshirt that I was wearing earlier in the video that will probably come and I've got a similar one in a grey mile like an Abercrombie one I'm not sure with this one again not going to be in a ton of cold weather but might be nice to have a little bit of color so I'm going to see if I can fit this one in so this is a maybe and then tops so um just like that white linen camisole I've got another white camisole with like Thai shoulders I wear all the time in summer super useful um a just like a white top with a bit of a different texture it's got a kind of slightly ruffly neck and a bit more of a sleeve so I could wear it out sort of to a restaurant or something if I wanted to. I've got a couple of t-shirts but that is something that I'm very lacking in so I want a couple of t-shirts. I want them in some colour because this is quite a mon monochrome wardrobe but I guess it's quite useful to have it quite monochrome when it's a capsule wardrobe because everything goes with everything. This little 
linen camisole and I just think that that kind of like cool white linen is just lovely when you're away. And then I've got striped shirt, goes over things, layering a floral dress, bit of pattern, bit of colour, um, and then this lovely rust coloured dress. So far, that's what I have. So what am I missing? I've just been consulting my list, um, which is in Notion, by the way, I do everything in Notion. I'm missing some t-shirts. I think I need three or four, really. I need at least one more sweatshirt. I might take one that I've already got, or I might see if I can buy something new. I'm missing my workout tops. Um, I don't need to buy any of those, but they're just in the wash. And I will also need to pack all my underwear, all of my swimwear. And then even though coats and shoes won't be in here, I will also need to pack a pair of gloves and a hat and maybe a scarf just in case we're anywhere super cold and a sun hat. And I think that's it. Oh, and PJs, yes. So really, probably not quite double the amount that I've got here but not far off when we factor in all of those things that I just mentioned. So I'm gonna bust open these packing cubes and see where we're at. Mm. These are the packing cubes. I have quite high hopes for these. I spent quite a lot of time researching packing cubes. They're not just packing cubes, they are compression packing cubes. So the idea being that it takes your stuff squeezes it, not the kind where you need to vacuum out the air, but just squeezes it down to make things as flat and as dense as possible to get rid of any escaped air so that you can maximize your tracking space. They weren't cheap. I got them from Amazon, but specifically from this brand Lean Travel. I read a lot of reviews because they're gonna have to last for a year, zipping them up and undoing them multiple times, potentially in a day if we're going to use them. So I only got one set to see how they fare. If they turn out to be good, then I'm going to buy a set for each of us. So there's two this size, then two in this kind of square size, and two in this slightly smaller rectangle. So let's have a look, see how we get on. So far it's like this thick, and then if I zip this zip here, but look at the difference now. It's a little bit flatter, I would say, for sure, actually. I think it could compress more though. Pretty decent though. That in there is two thick wool jumpers, a hoodie, a regular sweatshirt, and a wool base layer. It's not too bad, is it? This is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed so far. Now is the moment of truth. How much can we fit into this bad boy of a bin? <laughs> so I've got everything that I, that I showed you on the bed here. I've got them into these two plus this one. So I've only used three of the actual cubes so far. Um, I don't think all six will fit in here, so we'll see. Um, like I said, I still have some things to pack. Might need to edit some of the items in there once I've actually got absolutely everything. But this is going to be a good practice. So let's see. Moment of truth. These fit actually perfectly inside here. The only thing is, is with this container, there's this kind of like bit inside where there's like an indentation so you're actually like losing this amount of space so it means that it takes out some of the volume of what you can actually pack so i don't know if you can see but these fit in either side of that quite nicely but in the middle they don't fit so well and so then i think actually this or maybe two of these would fit inside here so my days this is heavy so we fit this in Ooh. Look at that, yes, like that. I think we're doing pretty well. Look at that, it's really heavy. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well. We do still have quite a lot more to pack. These two, we've got, I've got two of these. I think I might be able to just fit one on top like this, as long as it's not too full so that the lid can still get on. I don't think I'd fit this sixth one in. I think that's pretty good, but there's only one way that I'm going to be able to find out if what I've packed in here is going to be sufficient for one year, and that is by actually traveling and finding out. Until next time, my love.
Go live your dream. <laughs>